Today is Monday, 23rd of March. <laughs> Welcome, start of a new day, start of a new week. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, let's open the curtains, eh? <laughs> it's morning, of course, and welcome, and how are you? Well, that's good. I haven't seen this for a while. That's good. Let the sunlight in. It's a beautiful day outside. A little bit nippy this morning, a little bit. Yeah, so that was pretty good. Uh, now, I've just uh, been community driving today, and uh, this morning, that's about it. So, let's go outside and a beautiful sunshine. <laughs> Oh dear. Now, what's happening? Well, I really don't know what's going to happen this week. I don't know whether I'm going to be working, community driving, because as from tomorrow, everything will be closed. Schools, cafes. So, nothing will be running except the pharmacies, they've got to be kept open because you've got to have the medication. That's a priority. Yeah. Um, and other things that, like banks, have got to stay open. And supermarkets, supermarkets have to stay open because you've got to buy food. You've got to buy supplies. Oh, and uh, so as from tomorrow, school holidays. They're bringing the school holidays forward. So... This, uh, they're going to be holidays tomorrow. Mm. So, <laughs> so what are we going to do? Isolate ourselves. That's what the government wants us to do. Mm. Also, isolate. Isolate. I've got to be on my own. So how am I going to do that? <laughs> well. I've been isolating myself for quite a while, haven't I? <laughs> well, because I live on my own, of course. Let's go inside again. <laughs> oh. Yes, well, um, I'm used to that because I'm, I live on my own. So when you live on your own, well, you know, you get used to being isolated. But, you know, what, what, what can you do when you want to go to, up into town to do some banking and things like that? That's the sort of things you've got to do. <laughs> We've got to make do. <laughs> now, I've just come home from town and uh, been doing my errands. Now, a lot of the coffee shops and pubs are closed. Mm. So, some of the cafes are only, you can't eat dine in. You can't do that. You have to do a takeaway. Some of the, a lot of the coffee shops can only accept takeaways so um, you can't go in and dine <laughs> but anyway so you can't have a go in there and have a cup of coffee you'd have to take it away sort of thing you know that's what it is so the mood at the moment everything <laughs> everything's the same everything's fine but I notice a lot of people are dist distancing themselves on the footpaths uh, walking around and post office. The post office, um, you got to be allow so many meters when you're queuing up. Um, you got to allow so many meters behind each other, sort of thing. You know, <laughs> they got red strips, um, and you got to be behind that strip, or you got to stand on that strip, so it keeps a distance from the person in front of you and the person who's behind you as well. <laughs> so. Um, Anyway, but the post offices are open, the banks are open, it's fine. Um, it's just mainly the, the cafes and the pubs. Mm. So, anyway, that's the way, it is, the way things are going.
I've done half the lawn, back lawn. Still got to do all that yet. I'll do that tomorrow. I done the front the other day. It was good. Did that. So now that's cut. Oh. Trev, welcome. Today, what's today? Friday. Friday, 20th of April, no, 20th of March. Not April yet. <laughs> and he's all gone. That's good. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Oh, I have been coughing. Stop getting over that cold. Well, uh, well, I don't have a cold, but I've got a cough. It's just a chest, a chest cough. It just won't go away. Hmm. <coughs> oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot work when you're mowing lawns. So I think I'll be sorry about that. Yeah. I have been coughing a lot. I'm sort of over it now. Oh, it happens when you, you know, when you're working, mowing the lawn, and you sweat, and you puffed out, and you cough, cough, cough. Yeah, it gets. It's not. I don't have a sore throat. I did have that, but that's that disappeared. It just sort of you get that sort of a gassy uh, feeling in your chest right in here, and it causes you to cough. You know how it is when it. You feel a bit of a gravel, a bit of gravel in there, and you want to, causes you to cough. So that's that's what it is. It takes a while. It takes a while to get over it. I guess it's very me, very much like a bronchitis, because um, that's I'm pretty well prone to bronchitis. I have had bronchitis over the periods, and um, it takes a long time to get over that. <laughs> yeah. So I think really. <laughs> I could be, I could have had a very small bronchitis, a very touch of it, I think, um, that's what it was, so, um, yeah, so that's, that's all I've got, really, so, I mean, I feel okay, um, I'm sweating at the moment, because I've been working, <laughs> so, um, it's nothing to do with the coronavirus or anything like that, I hope not anyway, so, um, oh, I've got to see my doctor very soon, because, um, I'm down to my last box of repeat tablets. That's for the refluxes. I usually get refluxes. It, it prevents it. So I take one a day. So um, I've had about after about five repeats uh, since well since well before Christmas. So now uh, I'm down to one more box to go. So I think should have enough tablets to last for another another two weeks. I think. Um, so then, well, bef just before then, um, I'll have to make an appointment with my GP, yeah, so, then, uh, once I see my GP, um, most likely will get the flu shot, yeah, to prevent flu, and could possibly, um, get tested for any, any of the, uh, COVID-19, they call it, um, the kind of coronavirus, see whether I'm infected or not. So hopefully it'll be negative. <laughs> um, and there's so many people tested positive. So many people out there. Um, is it? Yeah, I don't know what it is. You know, if you get tested and you, and you don't feel any symptoms and you don't, and they say you're positive, you, you got positive, you're infected. And you don't feel it. Do you feel it? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me what it's like. I don't know. I don't know anything about coronavirus. I've really, to be honest, I've never ever heard of coronavirus before. <laughs> but till we, till I learnt about it a little bit. So, um, must be a, a really severe one. Hmm. So, uh, you know, look, I'm not going to go to raving on about about it too much. Um, 
I think things will be okay eventually. But we're in for a rough ride, I think, for a little while. Probably around about May, I think we may be starting to come out of it. Things will might come good. <laughs> so, hope so. Um, I believe that. I really do. Uh, some people don't. Some people think we, the world's going to come to an end, you know. But the world's not going to come to an end. You've just got to be sensitive. Um, it's got to be, po well, be positive in, in your um, in day, every day what you do. Um, and stick it out. Yeah. So, so with these um, people panic buying in the shops and the groceries, grocery stores, it's unbelievable. I mean, I bet yesterday I went shopping in Aldi, um, all the toilet paper has all disappeared, potatoes are di have disappeared, and soups, most of the soups have disappeared. Um, going into Woolies, Woolworths uh, grocery store, the same thing. Um, I can't believe how my, all the pastas, all the pasta has all disappeared, <laughs> and toilet paper, everything. <laughs> so I've got plenty of toilet paper because look, I live on my own, um, and I don't use big strands of toilet paper. Um, you know, just uh, I just the small, two small strands of toilet paper is enough, and uh, so I've got enough to last for probably three weeks, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't hoard things. I, I don't do that. Some people are like, um, I've seen shoppers out there shopping in Woolworths, Coles, with trolley loads of groceries that probably will last for a month. I don't know. I think the most hardest hit will be the families. They're the ones that are going to be really struggling because of kids. Um, they've got a, they've got a lot of mouths to feed. So, I feel sorry for you guys, the families, but when you live on your own like me, it's okay. You can, you can do, you can make do, make do with, with things, and, you know, so, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I better go and shut this uh, garage door up. Actually, uh, I've uh, been community driving actually, so I've got to go and take some a group of people, a day group, back home. So um, I am back to work today. The reason why is that um, they're short of a driver today, so um, I sort of put my hand up, go for it, why not? <laughs> anyway, so it's all good. So anyway, I hope you all are doing alright. I hope you're not infected with the... Uh, can, uh, coronavirus or anything like that. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, as I said, we've got to make do with things and the way of life. Things are different um, that we're not used to doing. So uh, we've just got to bear it and square it the way things are going. And uh, so many events, so many things have been cancelled. Like the cin our cinema is closed down. We can't go to the pictures. Um, uh, certain events big events are not happening um, even during the Easter celebrations which will be next month have been cancelled mm. but look we'll get through it we will and of course my brother actually Peter at St John's um, nursing home uh, he's on lockdown yeah so he's okay he's not infected which is good news nobody's infected in the nursing home, I think I don't think any of the nursing homes here in my town are effect, infected with uh, the, the coronavirus or anything like that. Not what I know of. Um, so that sounds pretty good. That's okay. So I hope it doesn't uh, get any worse. But things might get worse. Um, the way things are closing down, people losing their jobs. It's really sad, really. <laughs> What, what can you do? To stay home. <laughs> uh, so, and uh, what about these busloads of people from the city, from the big cities, coming out into the country 
raiding our um, super, our supermarkets. I reckon that's pathetic, really. Um, look, you people, busload of people, um, get get a life, you know. Leave the country people alone. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of overreacted, <laughs> really. So, what do we do? Uh, uh, yeah, that's life. But anyway, as I said, I've got to go and uh, got to do my last run. Take these group of people back home. Then I'm finished for the day, finished for the week. I've been, I've had a break all the rest of the week, so I've had a good, I've had a good rest. Um, so that's good. And yeah. Monday, we'll be back into it again. So, oh, what a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> beautiful Saturday. Today is Saturday, 21st of March, and it's a glorious sunny day, and uh, we've been lucky, actually, to have a lot of these nice warm days, and it's autumn, of course, <laughs> and the leaves are not even falling off the trees, so um, we're not sort of well into the autumn, really, So we, as we should, but anyway... Anyway, I've just cleaned my car out, actually, so I got busy cleaning it out, dusting it out, and, um, yeah, and dis disaffecting it as well. So now I'm just about to go and wash my car, give it a bit of a wash over, and uh, so, yeah, that's about it. And then I've got to mow the rest of that lawn, yep, which is down the back. Yeah, that's the, the second half of the lawn that needs to be cut which I'll be doing that this afternoon and that'll finalise the grass a bit for a while so uh, yeah, so I hope you're having a great day and so uh, what are you doing? <sighs> well, a lot of people I guess are stuck indoors can't go out if you're infected mm -hmm. well to me, well here it's not so bad in Wangaratta I mean look everybody's out and about just like no other, you know, everything's like, just, just like normal, really, so, I mean, look, if they're gonna, if they want you to stay inside your house, they might as well barricade the streets, so nobody can't drive their cars out, or well, even than that, barricade the driveways, <laughs> I don't think they could do that, that would be against civil liberty, <laughs> so, People have, um, they are obligated to be free uh, roaming around, freely, really. But if you're infected, it would be a different story, because if you're infected with the coronavirus, um, you know, that's a different story, that you would have to be quarantined, of course. Um, so if you're not affected, well, you know, look, it's okay to get out and about, and they're saying you don't get too close to people, <laughs> to one another. Um, how do you get on when you want to love someone, when you want to hug and kiss someone? <laughs> no, you can't do that. Not allowed. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go and wash my car, and uh, I'm out and about. Um, I like to get outdoors, uh, get out in the mountains or something like that, and get some fresh air, which it should be. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> Today is Sunday, 22nd of March, and today it's a beautiful day, nice and sunny, a little bit cloud, and a little bit windy as well, so um, it might be a chance of, well, the temperatures have cooled down a bit, so um, in the last few days, and uh, so today is a little bit breezy today, so anyway, I've got to go and mow the rest of this lawn. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I didn't. I was a little bit tired, and uh, so I'm going to do it. This is my last patch of the yard to do, and then it's done for a while. So I won't have to do it for a while either. And uh, here we go. 
yeah, that's better. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So we won't be long before we get to cooler weather. It's cooling down slowly now, and uh, so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, the mowing's done. Right down the backyard, it's all completed. Yeah. And I am stuffed. <laughs> oh. It's hard work when you got to mow. The grass is quite thick, still moist underneath. So, because, <coughs> because of all the dew. We've had dewy mornings. So, um... Hmm. Now, I've just come out of Bunnings. Just been doing a bit of shopping in Bunnings. Because I need a globe for my light. <laughs> yeah, so for my light in the uh, my lounge room. Yeah, so that's the one I got. I think it should do alright. Mine was a um, 11 something, but it's a 10, 20, 10 watt. Should be alright, hopefully. So, uh, yeah. So, globes, when one globe of light blows, then, then so do all the others. It happens, doesn't it? <laughs> one light blows, then the next one goes. Kenny Rogers passed away very sadly at the age of 81. Time's moving on, isn't it? Oh, poor Kenny. Uh, look, The Gambler. The Gambler was my mum's favourite song. <laughs> it's a good song. I've even recorded it myself. <laughs> of course, I'm drinking at El Cafe. Mocha, mocha, deliciously frothy coffee. Yeah, mocha. Mm hmm, good. And what have I got here to eat? I have some lamingtons, lamington fingers, and also um, some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I think it's some biscuits anyway. Um, these are actually. Uh, Healthy biscuits, really. The uh, fruit, the uh, fruit bakes. That's what it is. Yeah, fruit bakes. Fruit bakes. Yeah, it's got fruit in it. and them. Yeah, it's be quite uh, healthy, actually. So, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Of course, yes, we did hear about Kenny Rogers, very sadly. And uh, and what about this uh, terrible? war we're having with can I, this, this coronavirus oh yeah it's dreadful isn't it it's um it's a i don't know <laughs> what can we do <laughs> yeah and i'm having trouble well everybody's gonna have trouble everything's closing down the pubs the clubs um 
everything's closing down in town except the post offices and the banks. Um, and uh, and um, so and the next thing we're having big trouble with at the moment is Centrelink. That's our social security payments. Um, there's a big queue up at Centrelink and a lot of places people are trying to get paid. So that worries me a bit because um, every fortnightly I've got a, um, on my mobile phone, I have an app, Centrelink app, which I put it in on Thursdays fortnightly um, to report in uh, so I can get paid, which will be the Friday, which is the next day. So I, um, I checked my app, Centrelink app, and um, it's not getting me anything. Mm, it's there's no um, like I put in my uh, pin number to get to my site, Centrelink site. It's still it's actually um, it's still uh, I'm trying to trying to download or something. It's still downloading. Trying to install, but but anyway, I hope it's not like that by Thursday. That worries me because if it's going to be like that on Thursday, I mean I have to report on the in on Thursday so I can get paid. So if I can't get through on a Thursday, what do I do? I had to go to Centrelink, weren't I? <laughs> Join in the queue. Mm. Because I'm on uh, I'm on Job Seeker uh, payments now. Job seeker, they call it, and um, of course I'm doing voluntary work, um, 15 hours a week. Um, I'm not telling you the company that I work for, uh, because I'm not supposed to no, tell you that. <laughs> anyway, um, so that worries me a bit. So uh, hopefully um, it'll go through on Thursday, so I can get paid this Friday. Mm. But if not. I'll have to join the queue in the unemployment line. <laughs> and uh, it's really sad, really. I know it's very hard for a lot of people. I mean, Australians, we're not, we're not used to that sort of thing. We've got to adapt to that situation, a wartime um, situation like Many many years ago, like I wasn't born in years. I wasn't born back in the wartime years, for World War One, World War Two, when everything was rationing. Everything had to be restricted, I believe. Um, but in this day and age, people, especially in Australia and America, and America, the civilization, people, young people, um, they're not adapt to that sort of thing to be confined into a house and not allowed to go outdoors, not allowed to go here and there, can't touch anybody, can't love anybody, can't kiss anybody. Oh, and you can't sit down at a coffee shop like I have been. Well, I can do it at home. <laughs> yeah. Man, times are changing. I hope this, um, this coronavirus epidemic um, really passes, passes away sort of thing, you know, and let's get on with our lives. <laughs> hmm. But I suppose you've got to make do. You've got to make do with things. Be sensible. Do what the government tells you. And you'll be right. Hopefully. I'm doing all right. I'm at home a lot. You can always watch TV. You can always get on the internet. Watch YouTube. Watch you guys on your channels. <laughs> yeah. Frank. <laughs> Frank Mackay. Mac Frank Mackay's got a channel. You can go to him. And um, Karen for you. She lives in Iowa in the US. You can go you can check her vlogs out. And, uh, and everybody else, Robert D. Mole, Robert the Mole Smith, too. Robert, good on you, Robert. <laughs> yeah.
Yes, I, I saw what in some of your um, clips too. Um, you're very creative. I like you said. I like Robert. You like to do. I like you to do some more creation, video creation. I love that. I think how we do. Yeah. Uh, mm. And I haven't, I haven't heard from the Greers. Remember the Greers? Yeah, I haven't seen their vlogs for a while. I know they're, um, I know the girls in the family are really growing up, perhaps. But, still, but the, thing, the thing is, and um, they're trying to get on there with their private lives, I guess. So, hmm. Mm. Anyway, shout out to you, um, Gary, Gary Greers, and uh, the family. I hope you're all well, and um, yeah. So another Lamington. <laughs> oh dear. My brother Peter is doing all right. Well, I haven't seen him yet. Of course, he's on lockdown at the nursing home. Yeah. Earl's great dad. <laughs> oh. Now, down into the garage. Frank's got his coffee tree, having his coffee, so I can have my coffee. My coffee tree. It's not a tree, but <laughs> it's something. Put me a coffee on there. Uh, I've got my coffee. My coffee tree. <laughs> Cheers. Ah, yeah. oh, milkshake. Well, I could do a milkshake on Thursday. What do you reckon? Yeah, want me to do a milkshake? I'll try and whip up something for you. Yes. Um, I've got a day off tomorrow. Um, the, my clients that I've been picking up and taking back here and there are mostly all getting cancelled. Yeah, they're cancelling them out. So uh, I've got no clients to pick up tomorrow. <laughs> so they've given the company has given me a day off. Wednesday and Thursday I'm not too sure either. So I could have another I could have the rest of the week off, I don't know the way things are going. Mm. And uh, I'm really gutted. I'm really am so looks like so the day off tomorrow, sleep in in the morning, <laughs> of course. Now, I mentioned about my gov, um, or about Centrelink payment, you know, the Social Security on Thursday. I was, um, I usually report in on my app on my mobile phone. So someone suggested me to do it online. It's, um, I have a desktop and I do have my gov account. So um, I'll do that. Um, on Thursday so I can get paid on Friday because I need money for food. I need money for this to pay bills and my accounts. Mm. So, I mean, if there's no money in the business, well, nothing goes, does it? Everything stops. <laughs> That's it. Mm. Uh, I like the idea of the government um, giving the uh, workers, the unemployed, uh, the pensioners, um, Double, doubling the amount of what they get in a fortnight, which is great. That would be great help. That would be great help for me. I need some more toilet paper. <laughs> no, I've got plenty. I've got plenty. I've got enough toilet paper. It probably will last for about two or three weeks, I think. So I always go easy on it because I've got, I'm, I'm living on my own. So, and, uh, yeah, I did some shout-outs before, so I've got to do some more shout-outs now. The Dills. I mentioned the Dills. The Dills living in Bowl Hole, Philippines. That's the, um, the main channel name, I think it is. The Dills living in Bowl Hole. Bowl Hole. I hope I've got that name right. <laughs> and Madison McGrath, Charlie, Annabelle Wilson. Yes, I know, Annabelle. Mitchell, Carson, Emma. I've probably written all these down. Talia, Frank, <laughs> Chelsea. Hope Victoria, Hope, I hope you get better too. You haven't been very well, feeling very well. I haven't heard from you. And uh, last time I heard that uh, you haven't been well. So I hope you're uh, doing okay. Please let me know. Andy, Tango, Baldy, Bowden, Baden, 
one, two, one, one, and the life of a unicorn. Now, if I missed out in your names, please let me know, and I'll do the shout out next time. So it's just only a bit of a random <laughs> shout out. <laughs> and uh, so, anyway, uh, of course, yes, milkshake on Thursday. I'll do the milkshake for you, and uh, I'll see what I can rip up. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your week. Create harmony and peace. Bye. You never know what I get up to next. And uh, be faithful and take it easy. That's what Philip Brady used to say on, te on television. Take it easy on yourself. <laughs> and you'll never know what I, what you, what I get up to next. <laughs> Bye. Enjoy your work, week. Enjoy your coffee. <laughs> this is what's going to be coming pretty shortly. You know what I'm doing. It's like everybody else. Shut the gate. The pub's are closing. It's closing. The school's are closing. And so am I. The gate is shut. Got the car in. I've got another door to shut. Sorry, Dad. Now, a bit of an update of what I'm going to tell you. This is going to be a shock to a lot of you people. And I'm, I will be just upset. So upset, just as much as you people are. Now, in this difficult times, in regards to this coronavirus epidemic, everything is shutting down. The pubs, the restaurants, schools, everything, except the pharmacies, the banks, the supermarkets, uh, petrol outlets, but there's gonna things are gonna get worse that those places will probably be, will eventually be shut down as well. I'm not saying they will, um, but I'm very fear that it could happen. I don't know. So I'm gonna be uh, uploading this Thursday and next Monday. Now next Monday will be the final vlog. I will no longer be doing any more uploads uh, for two months. Two months? Yeah. So that's throughout April and May. I will um, be going into a recession from vlogs and uploads. So hopefully I will get back into it in June depending on how this coronavirus um, performs. So if it clears up by June, I'll be back to vlogs, to doing more vlogging. I'm doing my bit. I'm playing my bit to curb this virus and sympathise with everything else that's happening. So everything else, everything's closing up, so will I. 
I'm sorry people, but thigh will be done. That I really have to do this. I it was a, I had a big think about it all week. I've been thinking about it all week, or whether I'll have a break for two months or not. It was a very hard decision to make, and I made this decision that I will be pausing my vlogs, uploads for two months. And that's the same with my music channel as well. Trev's music channel, that will be um, off limits for two months as well. With In regards to BitChute, BitChute channel, I'm threatening myself to pull that down, my BitChute channel down because I'm sick of up trying to upload my videos and they're not there so um, it's goodbye to bit shoot so I may give it a week or two um, with that but that's something I still got to think about <laughs> so um, there's lots of changes but I will be doing updates on Facebook and Instagram so don't forget I have I'm on Facebook and Instagram under my full name Trevor Dawson just go to that yeah so few changes mm. so next Monday will be the last vlog and Tuesday next Tuesday week I'll be putting up March 2020 in review just some of the best moments throughout March so Tuesday will be the last vlog officially for two months mm. So, that's the way it's going to be. That's the way things are. <laughs>